<laughs> no. Me and my dad never had the birds and bees talks. Um, I'm not sure if I... Uh, I think I might have had that one with my mum, actually. It's quite embarrassing. I'm not quite sure, but uh, I can't remember, actually. Then I, you know, I probably had it with Google more than anything. But, uh, <laughs> Many really. I mean, well, we've had so many memories. My my mum and dad, especially my dad, he was a, he was a, a keen traveller. I think he thinks he's David Attenborough. Sometimes he's 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 educated me and my sister through travel. Um, we've been everywhere in the world, and when I say everywhere, we have been to the midst of Africa. We've been in the middle of the Amazon rainforest, catching piranha. Where I've been taking float planes to to rivers in uh, and lakes in in Alaska to watch the brown bears. We've driven everywhere. Um, and that's been an amazing bonding experience for the whole family. We, we have experiences uh, of different cultures, of stories, of everything. So to, to name you know, one is, uh, is impossible. Um, I mean, what I always remember is my dad used to get home from work and ever since I was so small, um, I we used to just play cricket out in the back, so we used to have our stumps, and Dad used to come back from work, and we'd have dinner, and then we'd go out and play cricket, and we would do that every night during the summer as much as we could. Um, and you can't really beat those memories, but it's uh, they were uh, they're good memories. Um, Dad was a was a he's a role model when I was growing up, and he's a role model now, still is. I mean my business um, etiquette, my drive, my uh, strive for everything com comes from my parents, of course, um, because I've never really seen two people work as hard um, at business. I mean, they, you know, they were entrepreneurs and I saw them work every hour of the day and um, that's where I get my work ethic from. My, my, you know, I, I was taught that you're not given anything in life, you, you earn it. and. Um, you know that that is still uh, that is still the way I, I approach every project I am you know I'm in and uh, that's involved in my in, in my companies now. Best advice, you know what? Someone asked me the other day what, what my best advice was, and I don't think I've ever really been given um, any advice. Um, I ask people's opinions more than anything, but only, but you have to make that final call and. And everything I do with all my companies, investments and ideas and everything is, is I always make sure that I have the final call. Um, and I suppose, I, I suppose I, he, he didn't really need to give me advice because I've seen that firsthand the way my dad had built up businesses. Um, so I've seen what works and I've seen what, seen what doesn't. Um, but I think in a roundabout sort of way, dad said always be in control. Always be in control of your money, your investments, don't other people do it, always sort of have that last say and I think I've taken that into everything that I do. I, don't, I think I'm a good mix between my mum and dad and that's good things and bad things. Um, my, I suppose my dad, he's an optimist. He can see the good in any situation. Um, even if it's a bad situation, he can, he can see the upside of it. And I think I try and do that as well. People always tell me things are impossible. You can't do it. And my, and I, my dad, has, he's never said to me once, it's not possible, it can't be done. You know, I think he's always believed that if you, if, you, if you put your mind to it and you work hard enough, that you will get that. And um, I, suppose, uh, I suppose that's it really. See, my dad was never... He's never. He's more into it now, actually. Now I've, I, I'm sort of in the fashion business, and he often sort of comes with his with his new gear and his new clothing. He's very proud to, sh to show it off to me, and the money he's saved behind them. Um, but no, I mean, he was uh, my first suit was actually one of my dad's, and I, and I had it tailored so I could I could fit into it. He is an amazing. Uh, should I say salesman at anything? He can sell you, um, and that that was sort of you know his his jobs in in, in many ways. He's director of companies and everything else, but he's always hands on. Um, and I always say he could sell ice to Eskimos at the end of the day. And, and uh, 
but that's a sign of a, an absolutely brilliant businessman to be able to convince people um, to convey his ideas and, and um, that is, is definitely his, 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 he has many many good qualities but, but uh, from a business point of view and the way I've seen him you know, sort of work that is um, it's also you know but on top of that he's one of the most generous guys I know he takes care of his family he takes care of our futures um, he's constantly thinking uh, about me and my sister and about my mum 10 you know, 20 years 10 years and you know in, in, into the future um, and that's what he, you know, he does he, he never has a, a short-term plan it's always long-term plans and uh, yeah it has many 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 qualities <laughs> I have no idea what my dad would say actually uh, it'd be interesting to have him right here now so we should we should have gone and got him done up uh, not a Mr. and Mrs. but a Mr. Gandhi versus Mr. Gandhi Senior it would have, it would have been quite funny so I don't know you'd have to ask him on that one I don't know, I don't know what he would say really I think some socks would be a good would be a good idea, wouldn't that? <laughs> he's already he's already got a number of pairs of uh, he's already got I think the full collection, but um, maybe the new maybe the new the new herringbone ones or uh, the cashmere socks might 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 be nice.